Jasmine Williams of the Women Wealth Impact Podcast. And today we're going to do what I feel like women are, they, they love the most is a checklist. We all just love to check something off our list. Check the kids off, check the pets off, check the husband off, check the boyfriend off, all the things we are going through and we're going to check list off all of the steps that it takes to invest in real estate. So I had the privilege of being able to host over 200 women, um, I guess this was the last week of September, uh, or I'm sorry, the first week of September, last week of August, and I was able to host 200 women for five days via Zoom online, completely free, get them to know the steps that it takes to invest in real estate. What I found was when the light bulb was going off the most is when I said, you know what, this is where you take notes, this is where the checklist is, these are the steps. When I did that, the light bulb literally was just like, this is a thing, right? Jasmine, I now I know I can take these steps and not feel like I'm overwhelmed. And you know what? It got people to take more action, implement more, and you know that's what I'm all about. So today I'm gonna go through how to take those steps, what you need to do, and really just get you into the practice of taking action and showing up for yourself. This 90 day checklist is something that I take all of my students through into my signature program. And really, this can be condensed for something that you can do yourself. Now, I would love to assist you, but some people are just like, you know what, Jasmine, I need to explore this all. So make sure you all check out the full program that gives you all the links, all the resources, everything that I use in my signature program, but really condensed down so that you can take action on your own. I can't wait for you guys to hear this. So. The first thing that we do um, is we want to shift our mindset, right? When you're shifting your mindset, when you're saying, you know what, I'm committing to this because I want to show up for my kids. I wanna show up for my family. I want to build generational wealth. I wanna do all the things. That show up, that thing that you're going to do is going to help you learn and really go ahead and stay committed to the goal. So we are gonna go through and make sure that we make that commitment, we take that commitment. The next thing, and you know, I am, I'm on podcast, so I'm reading my list because I wanna make sure that you guys get it all. Make sure that you are facing your finances. When you are working with me in my program, I am making sure that you face your finance head on. So we're talking about the savings. We're talking about what our budget, what we're spending money on. I call it a money plan, so it's not as scary, but it's important that you go ahead and you face it. You're talking about what that money plan looks like. What does your credit look like, right? Don't just hide behind it because in, in your um, initial stages of investing in real estate, that's not really a, a huge factor, but down the line it will be. So why not address it from the start, making sure that you have the best credit that you can have from the very beginning so that we can go ahead and get to the goal a lot quicker. So when you're facing your finances, you wanna take those steps. Go ahead and look at that money plan. Say, you know what, Jasmine, I need to go ahead and work on my credit a little bit. Um, and then once you do that, you'll be able to be in a whole lot of a different and clearer page when it comes to that. The next thing is um, you want to create a profitable business, right? So we all put these businesses together. We have a LLC, you know, you have a escort, well, all the things. I'm not here to advise you on what kind of business you have, but I'm here to advise you on how to make sure that it's profitable. So you want to set up that business so that it has a huge standpoint of where you're going in your business. Do you want to go through and invest in real estate and have a um, I have a, a, a business that does multifamily, single family. It doesn't matter if it mixes, but it does matter that you know what your end goal is in your business and not just kind of be like, oh, I kind of guess I don't know. We want to be crystal clear on what we're doing so that we can go through and really be able to relate or, uh, you know, get that message across to so many more people, the bankers we work with, the mortgage officers, the lenders, the, you know, the all of the folks that are going to help us make sure that our business is profitable we want to have that mission clearly stated from the beginning you make sure that you have your business set up for uh, business credit so i 
tell you all this thing and make sure that you're able to download the 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 uh, freebie that I have here because it's gonna show you how to go through and say oh my goodness I can do this this is just a simple checklist and I give you all the steps so that you can go take it through if you decide to go through with the more advanced program that a program that really for 12 weeks I'm in your inbox just basically telling you what steps you need to take for 12 weeks that is an option as well but you can access all of that in the show notes today and I'll be able to show you like okay this is not something that's so hard it's something that's simple it's something that you can go through and say you know what I am so glad that I was able to just get this done and I can go through and get my first investment property with no problem after that you want to create an evaluation plan right so that evaluation plan is oh I know how to analyze property I know what is a good deal is this a is this gonna make sense can I rent this property out with no problem does it cash flow does it make money is it going to in the long run appreciate you are gonna learn how to learn go through all of those steps to make sure that the property and your business is actually gonna be evaluated for the best solution possible Lastly is doing the implementation plan. Now you all know that I am not all fluff. I am making sure that you go through and take your steps. So you're never gonna get from me, oh, well, this is hypothetically what you can do. No, you're gonna be able to take the steps to really get to the goal. That's all I want you to do. So once you go through all the steps, you go through and you figure out what you need or what it takes to go through and get this actually started. And once you do, you'll be so glad that you did. I'm so glad that you are all taking the steps that you need to take in order to get your finances in order. Wealth building is not something that you just wake up and now you're wealthy. Wealth building really comes from being consistent, being having a repetition to your consistency and making sure that you go through and you go through every single day. You show up every single day for yourself and I promise you will be able to make an impact on your finances. You'll look up in six months and you're like, oh my goodness, I have an investment property. Now I have my tenants in place and all the things. Make sure you leave some comments for me so that I can see that, make sure that this is actually working and I can't wait to see what 